if you try this healthy recipe i am not sure that you are going to eat any stew apart from this it was very delicious flavorful and above all they finished everything the next day hello nice to meet you my name is lena and welcome to my kitchen so i'm going to share with you this simple recipe so without wasting much of your time let's get started i'm going to boil my carrot my broccoli and then i'll be boiling other things okay so let's leave this on fire for some few minutes like two minutes and it's ready we are going to boil the spinach as well and our spinach is also ready now my scallion or spring onion is also ready so let's start grinding the pepper okay i bought the pepper as well with the um, spinach so i'm grinding the pepper and the um, onions now i've added the vegetables to it and i'm going to blend everything then i'll add some thick berries i love it in my stew and it tastes the stew to another level it makes it very delicious and very healthy as well now i'm just going to add my peanut butter paste which i made at home i have the recipe on this channel i'll be leaving the link at the top there please it will pop up check on it for me thank you so much after that uh this turkey berries i'm not going to grind it i'll just pour it in the stew it will be in the stew and i'll chew it it's so nice and apart from that i have all the fishes that i'm going to use and also the jummy that i'll be using so they claim this oil is jummy <laughs> but jummy is not reddish like this jummy is always dark okay that's the difference so anyway that is the oil i have I have added my melon seed that I added some water and um, salt to it. So it was actually powdered melon seed egusi, that I mixed with water and salt. Then poured it in the oil, waited for a while. And that is that chunky egusi I'm having right now. I'm just going to remove everything from the oil oil try this method and thank me later <laughs> just by the way so now i'm going to add my onions and i have chopped onions okay so i will add it to it give it a gentle stir then wait for a while at this moment you can fry your salted tilapia and with this stew we are making it in two different types yes and this one is the first one so i've added my tomatoes i'll wait for a while for it to cook very well and after two minutes this is how it looks now i'll be adding my next ingredient that is the vegetables that we grinded okay i've added it to it and i'll be adding it bit by bit make sure i stir it and have the perfect uniform <laughs> stew that i want okay so please if today is the first time here and you're interested in cooking please what are you waiting for can you please smash on the red button and the bell icon for more videos and i will be very grateful if you are watching me from facebook tiktok instagram please follow for more subscribing and following me is actually free yes you don't have to pay any money so please follow and please subscribe on youtube thank you so much at this moment go ahead and add any seasoning of your choice so i'll be adding my homemade natural spice and herbs that i made at home i've added some parsley i can't prepare food without parsley i love it so that is what i've added i've added all my seasoning that i'm supposed to add now I'll go ahead and add my fish okay i've deboned the fish and i've added it to the stew i'll go ahead and add my eggs and we are good to go i'll go ahead and add 
my salted fried tilapia. Some of the eggs are missing, not only one. Forget about that. But I am amre. <laughs> I'm Amber in the kitchen. <laughs> yes, it's part of the business. Forget about it. Now I will add my egusi or melon seed that I fried and give it a quick stir. So actually, this is one way you can prepare this stew. You can as well grind it in the early way that I grinded the vegetables in fry your oil and then add it to it i have that one as well which i made i may bring the recipe so the next one that i have is this one with this i did not add any melon seed to it okay so after i was done with everything i just added some chopped onions uh, stir it and then leave it on fire for some few minutes like just a minute or two then your stew is ready thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one i love you